Yes! It's here. It's finally here. What is up guys? Welcome back to another Race PS5 video. And today, I just got my PS5. It's Friday the 20th of November. It's just gone 4 o'clock. Game got it to me a day late. I'm not happy about that. But it's finally here. And I'm doing an unboxing video. I've not watched any other unboxing videos. Um, I'm just going to keep blind to it and enjoy the experience of opening my own PS5. Before we start, this is my first generation PS4. I've had it since January 2014. I've had it for seven years. It's brought me many thousands of hours of joy. And now it's almost sad to see it going back in the box. Well, not really. Goodbye. Time for PS5. Gone but never forgotten. Goodbye. Here we go. Like I've said, I've not watched any other unboxing videos. Look at that. The packaging is stunning. I haven't even looked at it properly yet. Just got it out of the box and got it ready for the video. The packaging for the PS5 is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to get in. Like I said, I've not watched any other unboxing videos. I have no clue what the insides look like. I can't wait to get it out. Without any further ado, let's make a start. Here we go. Just like with the PS4, got a nice fancy cardboard outer and an inner box. I'm just going to show you the inside of the box. Looks very pretty. Got my little instruction manual. Got more instruction manuals. We've got the DualSense 5 controller. I've not seen it in person yet. Here is the DualSense. It's got a lovely feel in the hand. Feels very similar to the to the DualShock 4. It's a little bit bigger. Buttons feel nice, looks nice. It's got a nice feel to it. Let's dive in with the rest of the console. In here we've got our stand the PS5 and for the juicy moment of glory I'm gonna take it out of its cellophane wrapper very carefully So I've got my PlayStation all plugged in now. All the cables are hooked up. I've got the DualSense plugged in. So when you're setting up your PlayStation, you wanna make sure that it's in a nice open space, not in any tight cabinets like you've been seeing on Facebook. Um, as you can see here, I've got a good few inches either side of the PlayStation in front and behind. I've got mine by the window, which should help keep it cool. Although it's got liquid metal cooling, the heat sink is gonna be a beast. Apparently it's whisper quiet, so we're about to find out. And I, I don't think heat is going to be an issue, but it might be if you put it in an enclosed space. So now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, I'm going to turn it on. Ah, oh, that classic beep. I'm not surprised they decided to keep that. It looks beautiful. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. 
Look at 